Hey friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you about some performance analysis that I've been researching, particularly Intel's advisor and their roofline modeling. Roofline charts are a visual representation of application performance in relation to your hardware limitations, meaning your memory and processor capabilities. Now, traditionally, roofline charts have been calculated and plotted by hand, but Intel's advisor now will automatically build these roofline charts for you. A roofline chart's important because it's going to show you where your performance bottlenecks are. Not just that, but it'll show you what performance you left on the table, how much more you can squeeze out of your hardware if you tune your software a little bit more. Now, not only do you want to identify those bottlenecks, but you also want to know which ones you should address so you aren't hunting around in the dark. And why are those bottlenecks happening? You're going to get a little bit of insight from the advisor tool. Let's take a look at a couple of quick examples in how you can use Intel's advisor to help make your software better. All right, let's take a look at our first really naive sample. This is a little matrix multiplication operation that we've put together. It's going to loop through three matrices and it's going to do some multiplication, add them together and step through a couple loops. All right, I'm going to run this process and pass it over to the Intel advisor and see what it finds. Let's take a look. This is my roof line analysis. These diagrams were typically generated by hand back in the day, but with Intel's advisor, it's generated for me automatically when I point to an application and tell it to analyze it. So you can see here, this large blue circle shows you the multiplication process that's occurring, and I can click on it, and I can see exactly what lines of code are triggering that dot to be plotted. The size of the dot and the color of the dot indicate exactly how much processing power and memory was used as part of this part of the application process. It's plotted in the horizontal axis based on the number of floating point operations per byte. It's measuring the arithmetic intensity of the operation. In the vertical axis, it's measuring the number of gigaflops being used in order to execute that little bit of process. The horizontal lines that we see going across are being plotted to show you the DRAM bandwidth, the L3 cache, the L2 cache, and the L1 cache bandwidth. And across the top, the horizontal lines that you see going across there are the various compute peaks that we expect to see from this processor running this application. And we can see in our lower section here, it spent a lot of time going through this. And it, it took 2.217 seconds to process this. That's, that's a lot of time for a quick loop here. What exactly is going on behind the scenes? Can we interpret and get some extra information out of this? I'll click into the survey over here. And it shows me a little bit more information here, and it shows me that it wasn't vectorized. In fact, it's even got some suggestions that we use a SIMD directive. This is important because the advisor identifies when vector dependence prevents vectorization. The advisor typically recommends double checking using a check dependencies collection and then using a directive only if it is safe to do so. Let's go back to our source code and let's optimize it a little bit and rerun our analysis here and see what the Intel advisor tells us. All right, here's our second instance of that matrix multiplication sample. This time, we're gonna shuffle up the order of the loops just slightly, making our K loop the second loop in our four loops here, and we'll shift that J loop to the innermost loop. Now, we're also going to turn on vectorization with this argument that we're going to pass in that you see defined on line 91. I've already built this, I've already compiled this version of the application, and let's run it through the Intel Advisor this time and see what it comes up with. All right, this time taking a look, you can see immediately that we have.
different content in this graph compared to the previous graph. Check out where that loop is now. It's way up here and it's now yellow, indicating that there's a lot more processing going on here. And our total time for the entire process was 8.3 seconds. Previously, it was more than 70 seconds. So we've shaved off already almost 90% of the time that it took to run this previously. That's what you expect. That's why we vectorize loops here it's inside of our C++ applications. If we take a little bit further look at where this circle is plotted, it's much higher. It's using many more gigaflops of memory to interact. So it's approaching that L3 bandwidth roof that you see here. It's also approaching a scalar peak defined by this horizontal line. If we take a look at the survey so we can see the recommendations, you can see that this time it was vectorized with AVX2 at 100% efficiency. 13.1 gigaflops that it's representing here. That's tremendous. We're seeing that that recommendation that we were given in the previous report has supported and allowed us to grow and make this application run faster. And we see further analysis in our source code down at the bottom telling us about the transformations and how the vectorization affected our source code. There's lots more that you can do with the Intel Advisor, digging deep into these roofline reports and learning more about your applications and how you can optimize them, make them more efficient. And the Advisor is going to tell you different ways that you can apply compiler directives to your application and end up making the most of the source code that you've written. So why don't you give the Intel Advisor a try and you can download it with the links down below. Thanks so much for watching.